baby venus is now in the sign of pisces okay that unconditional loving sign baby prepare to be in your heart more okay feeling that compassion feeling more spiritual okay wanting to tap more deeper into your spiritual side okay all that good stuff but we're going to do a collective love reading okay so if this is on your for you page or you're seeing it it is a message in this for you okay remember that love is not just romantic you guys okay so take it as it resonates and apply it to whatever area of your life that is meant to flow to okay now i do have a video on my youtube channel for you guys over the venus and pisces transit okay you guys check that out it comes with examples predictions insights all that good stuff for y'all at this time okay let's see spirit what does the collective need to know right now in the area of love okay remember i do not reach out for any readings any money anything like that that page at dion 43210 is a fake and a scammer and y'all need to go report that page okay thank y'all i appreciate it the only way to connect with me, book me, any of that is through the links in my bios or my description boxes, okay, you guys? That's it. Ooh, not the cards flying. Okay, so the first card we have right now, or excuse me, the first two cards that we have here is love yourself first, and we have give your, your relationship a chance, okay? The first card, love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you uh, more romantically attractive okay and then the give your relationship a chance this is work on your partnership okay um this is really giving me like two sided energy the bottom of the deck here is passion allow your heart to see ooh, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and then you literally have wedding underneath that whoa okay so this is definitely two things that are coming through here right now okay i feel like at this time some of you guys may be at a distance from your partner from your your soulmate okay from your twin flame okay whether this is you guys are not talking whether they are blocked okay um whether you guys are at a, a physical distance from each other i really feel like right now experiencing at this time to continue to pour into yourself it is really doing something big for the connection okay as you're loving yourself more right this is helping you attract in that love that you're really wanting okay the more that you're saying okay no this is not what i'm accepting you know I, this is not what i want this is not the way i want to be in love okay whatever the case may be that is what is shifting here for you at this time because literally it is like the love yourself card first let me see i'm outside y'all make sure y'all can see this okay love yourself first card here okay now you hear the birds right that's very big but to give your relationship a chance like i feel like some of you guys are maybe in this journey where you're wanting your soulmate you're wanting this person to come in you're ready for your twin flame okay you're ready for this eternity person but spirit is saying to continue to love on yourself first okay because you can want to give all that love out to somebody else you can want to be able to be happy in love with somebody or you know doing this and doing all that but if you do not fully really love yourself okay and appreciate yourself for who you are what you are the way you think the way you talk all that this, this, this is the energy okay you catch my drift now to give your relationship a chance it says to work on your partnership this could definitely be about divine unions okay collaborations um again twin flame energy soulmate energies all that good stuff you guys but i feel like spirit is really saying as you're working on yourself in turn this is you helping uh working on this partnership okay maybe right now you're feeling like i don't want this maybe right now you're feeling like oh you know this is not really for me okay maybe you're feeling like mm, like man these things keep happening this shit keep popping up i don't know i don't know you could be feeling like that but spirit is saying to give your relationship a chance remember when you are stepping into a relationship okay relationships are more than just getting with people for the pictures and, and, and to go take trips it's really about work okay especially when it comes to a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection but nonetheless every relationship in your life is designed to teach you something or show you something about part of yourself okay help you heal trigger you help you to shift your perspective it shows you many 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 things you guys okay so working on your partnership and giving it a chance don't just throw in the towel easy peasy lemon squeeze okay we got mercury and aries maybe you're real quick to be like you know what whatever that's cool that's fine trust your feelings trust your emotions okay because if you've done the work to receive this connection you need to allow it to happen okay remember you guys are two people coming together from two different backgrounds with two different energies with two different dating style all that stuff you're coming together to be one okay so give your relationship a chance okay as you guys can see let me put this back in light for y'all right they're still holding they're still being you know one with each other here right despite whatever and whatever this is this is definitely something divine it's definitely something magical here for real you see all those uh, angel wings there very angelic connection okay you could be seeing a lot of wings you be seeing a lot of feathers okay the bottom of the deck being passion like you may have a lot of passion for this person you may have a lot of love for this person especially with venus being in pisces right now okay you may really like your heart okay maybe the, the, even your intuition like you can feel things you can see things right but spirit is saying hey trust the process and keep loving on you and allow this relationship to have a chance okay 
Let's get some more cards here. What else do they need to know here? What else is here? Ooh. That, the cards are flying, okay? We got the trust card coming out, okay? This relationship is requiring for you to have trust, okay? This situation is calling for you to have faith is exactly the correct words of what this card says, okay? I want y'all to see that, okay? Maybe some of y'all feel like you can't trust this person. Maybe some of y'all feel like this is too good to be true. Maybe some of y'all feel like, you know, yeah, the bottom of the deck is literally keep an open mind. I can't make this shit up. It says keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Maybe you thought you wanted a tall, six foot five, dark chocolate man with almond eyes and big muscles, and you know, they made six figures and all that, but really your person, the one that really sees you for you, the one that really loves you, okay? The one that see how the phone is all, all of a sudden going down, that's crazy. I'm not doing that before. Okay. Um you know, maybe maybe you had this idea in your head of how your person's supposed to look and the way they're gonna talk and all that. You're in that fairy tale, right? You're in that that dreamy energy, right? The illusion in a sense, y'all. My bad the phone keeps sliding. Like, this is crazy. My phone was not doing ever since we pulled this card. I really feel like that's a message. Yeah, I know everything was not for real. But um, seriously though, okay, it's like I feel like part of y'all, you feel like you wanted this, wanted this, wanted this, and because you're seeing that it's something different, whether this is the way this person talks, whether this is the way this person looks, size of them, okay? Whatever physical features, remember, it's not about what's on the outside. It's really about what's on the inside. It's about what's in their heart. It's about how they talk to you, okay? It's about the way they speak to you. Is this somebody that shuts down every time you do? Like, it's about those type of things, okay? So I really feel like this relationship that's here right now for you guys, okay? This is definitely something divine. This is definitely something that's magical. This is definitely something that came into your life for a reason to help shift you somewhere else. See yourself differently, okay? No matter what the purpose of this relationship is, and Spirit is definitely saying you need to have trust right now at this time because literally the bottom of the fucking deck is keeping open mind. Your soul may be different from your usual type and expectations. <laughs> That's the funny thing about life, right? We're always dreaming. We're always thinking of certain things. We can go into that daydreaming energy and, oh, yeah, I want this. I want, like, it's, you're wearing the rose-colored energy, but you got to allow the reality to really come crashing down and see what's in your face, okay? You, you, you know, maybe in the past, you have been done wrong by a lot of people. Maybe you feel like every person that you was with, you know, they was just trying to abuse you or, you know, steal from you or manipulate you or get up on you or only want to use you for what you had. That's not what this is here. That's, that's, that's not what this is here. That's not what this is here. That's not what this is. Literally, underneath that, you have flirt. Free yourself. Yeah, so you need to free yourself from this mental confusion, okay? Just worry about this situation. Maybe feeling like, oh, no, this is not for me. It's not for me. I'm going to take this one. Like, don't don't feel like that, okay? Exactly. The top of the deck is getting to know each other. Right now, you guys are in a state of getting to know each other. You got to, this is the thing, too, about relationship, okay? Because everybody just be so ready to date. And hop into a relationship and you ain't even worked on you. You ain't worked on your triggers. You ain't worked. Like, there's so many things that be going on. You may not even know what it is that you really want. You may think that you want this, but you really don't want that. Right? You may think that you want a woman that, you know, has it all together and is independent and can do these things. But maybe you realize you don't want that because you want to be able to give to someone. You want you, you got to really sit with yourself and be honest on what it is that you want. Okay? Do you want somebody that's always in your face every day? Do you want somebody that can give you your space and your time? You feel what I'm saying? That can, that can balance the two out, right? Do you want somebody that's going to uplift you when you're down, right? It ain't to say that you can't do that for yourself, but, but really having that counterpart, right? That's really, I feel like spirit is really wanting y'all to sit with self and your true emotions, okay? And feel these energies out because, again, you're getting to know each other right now. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. So this can be really a relationship that's really healing as well. Okay, maybe you guys talk about a lot of triggers. Maybe you guys talk about your past, whatever it is. Okay, even this person that you could be manifesting to come in for yourself, your soulmate. This this is going to be happening. Okay, and sometimes you may see different people. You may come across different people that are helping you get to really know, wow, or really connect with certain individuals. Y'all, this is crazy. This is like a. This is a lizard or something. Ooh, they go its throat. This lizard, it's crumbled up this tree, but it just came out of nowhere. Introspection, okay? Hmm. But yeah, you guys are getting to know each other right now, okay? So trust the process. Keep an open mind in this energy, literally. Bro, if I'm lying, I'm motherfucking flying. I'm awake. I'm awake to fly. 
because I can't make this up. Under getting to know each other from the top, I don't even be pulling from the top of the deck like that. I do not do that, y'all. But my spirit says do it. You got getting to know each other, and then you got calling in your soulmate. Literally, literally, calling in your soulmate, getting to know each other right now. So y'all gotta trust this, okay? Please trust this energy, because as I was saying before, the lizard interrupted us. Writer came over here. Sometimes you can meet people. There may be reflections of, of your person, of your true person. And it's like, it's a buildup that's happening. It's no different from, you know, going to school or, or being in a certain class, which is helping prepare you for that bigger class, right? Like how you have your, um, your what is it, your bachelor's, your associate's degree, and you have your bachelor's, and you, you know, you can go into that master's and that doctorate, right? It's like, it's a process that's happening. I'm seeing one, two, three right now, three, four, five, okay? Those sequence angel numbers may be very, very significant for some of you all, okay? Please trust this. Please trust this. This is really beautiful. This is beautiful. Let me get um, another. Um, I'm going to pull from a different deck here. I'm just going to get one card for us, one message, and see what Spirit has to say on this. I love this. If you guys want a love reading from your girl, okay, my love readings are really all of my readings the tarot readings, okay, my general readings, my love readings, they do come with a free pendulum question and a free channel angel number message, okay, for you all. Your videos are uploaded via a private link, okay? You're able to go back and watch it. You're able to comment on your video. I love reading y'all comments, especially on the bird chart readings. Y'all be cracking me up, okay? We're going to get a message here from the Whispers of Love deck for us here. Dogs could be very significant. Dogs are a sign of loyalty, okay? So, that's a message there. Ooh, that's beautiful. Actions speak loudly than words. Turn on your heart light. Yeah. Some of y'all need to get out your head and into your heart. Polar opposite of Pisces is Virgo. Okay. Venus loves being in Pisces. She do not like being in Virgo like that. It's, it's uncomfortable for her. I'm going to put that back because I see how that hit my hand. It hit my thumb. This is a beautiful card, though. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. This is definitely some Piscean energy coming through here. Pisces is the sign of dreams, okay? Let's see, Spirit. What's the last card that I can get here for the collective? For this read? For this love read? These are a bigger deck. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, we, we, the personal readings, maybe we go deeper, okay? We, 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 we go deep. We go deep in everything. That's why we say, let's dive into the deep, okay? Just call one, two, three, four here on the timer. Again, those ascension, climbing those steps. I'd like to get a good shuffle in. All right, Spirit, one card, please, here for the collective. One card. I said one card, and they dropped out five. Ooh, we. Yeah. I'm going to take this bottom card here because this card is number 48. I'm going to go ahead and take this one. My spirit is telling me to take this one. This was the last one. And I feel like this definitely aligns with what we were just saying. Okay. Let me show you all the beautiful card because this is a beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. This card says demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Okay. 48. 48. This would really be the number 12, which is really three. Okay. So 12. Pisces is a 12 sign of zodiac, but then number three, okay, your mindset, your perspective, okay, could be very big at this time, right? Okay, very big. Your, your perspective is always big. Your perspective is key in everything. But this card literally saying demonstrate love, right? Find out what is important to those you love and act on. And I feel like, remember I told you guys, right? You're in this process of becoming a new you, okay? It's like two people are merging together to figure out this, to come into this, to get rid of these. It's all that is happening, okay? So maybe your love language is buying gifts okay maybe the other person love language is supporting okay uh with venus being in pisces okay this could even like there's so like there's just so much y'all seriously there's so much but look at this card look at the beauty in this look at the magic in this, this is giving, definitely giving like a lot of flowy like energy okay I just find this card again is a confirmation of getting into your heart trusting in what you feel okay feeling what it is that you want in love because you can have everything that you want in the areas of love romantic or not okay you can have it if you want a partner that can uplift you if you want a partner that's going to be able to support you or if you want you can have all of those things you can 
right? It's about not getting into no controlling energy, right? Not feeling like, oh my gosh, I have to do this or I have to do, you know, it's not about getting into that energy. It's about releasing that, okay? And trusting in, on what you're feeling, right? And actually demonstrating these things because just like that calling in your soulmate card says, once you're actually visualizing things, okay? Once you are saying your affirmations, okay? Once you are doing things like that, you're drawing it out, you're going thinking about sleeping with them, whatever it is, this is how you call this energy in here for you, okay? This is how you're demonstrating to the universe, to yourself. Hey, this is what I want. This is what I don't want, okay? All right, now. So I affirm this reading is going to find those who it is meant to find, babes, okay? Because it divinely will meant to find them. I appreciate y'all, my returning subscribers, my supporters. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for the likes. Thank y'all for the comments. I appreciate you all for being here. And I'm sending you all much love, light, and alignment. Remember, I am the spiritual mermaid. Your soul awaits. My name is Anissa. Link down below to book with your girl. Peace, peace.